All right, I got a good question from somebody on an older tutorial that I did on how to project images through lights before it actually became a thing. And so now the, the question is, hey, how do we do this? What are the steps to do this with a video? And I just happen to have Lightmagic Studio up, so I'm going to be using this, but the principle is still going to be the same in what we do. So you want to go over to the shader editor, and I'm going to throw a plane in here so we can see what's going to happen. This is going to work in cycles with scene lights on. Scene world can be brought to zero. I don't need it. I just scale this up a touch. Now there is a node group to add uh, the Gobo Creator 2 that's built in to the Light Magic Studio 7 has that ability and all I have to do is click the Gobo light shader. Now this is the setup that you're going to want. Now what we have here is a basic light output, an emission, an image texture color to strength. Uh, if you want it to be color you can put it here but I use the black body intensities so then after that you want to put the vector mapping into the image and then you want the divide node to break the line between the normal and the uh, vector here and then we're going to put a separate XYZ from the normal on the Z and this is what this is going to do is this is going to give it a square image it's going to give it the proper image so there's no warping on the sides so that's basically all that is you're just dividing the Z normal uh, from the normal normal if that makes sense and it's just something that works it's just what we do now uh, so that's the setup now once you've got that worked out um, you would need to upload a picture here okay or you would want to upload a video now for this for the categories I'll just throw an abstract in here and I gotta reload this so it doesn't crash and what will happen let me alt are my um, my thing here <laughs> my spotlight my brains tired and to see alt X brings up my lighting intensity it's a pretty cool add-on you guys can pick this thing up uh, it's one of those things when you just upgrade you know and you do a pay add-on you just get a lot more uh, bang for your buck ultimately and so now it's actually loaded that image in for me from the add-on now instead of trying to figure out why this thing's not on you gotta put the shading in cycles and then you've got to switch your render engine to cycles and I've got hydrostorm in here for 4.0 so that's fun there we go now <laughs> that's a little bit better uh, so now you've got some buttons you can press over here uh, if you press this button it's gonna square up the actual image itself and if you press this one, it's going to give you a circular image, but still very square, no warping on the sides. I did switch over to Windows uh, for the setup. So, I mean, I can use broken glass. I can project anything I want. So, there we go. Now I want to rotate this on the Z at like, ooh, I think um, 180 would be nice. So I can actually see what I'm looking at. Okay, very cool. Now, that is still a little washed. I guess I can bring up the intensity. All right, so from here, we're going to have to make a few changes. And that is going to be changes that pertain to the image texture node itself. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come over here and take this from single image and we can put this, you could do it a few different ways, but we'll just put this to movie. And I'm going to have to go ahead and find movie. And one of the cool things we actually have here is, let me just get a little more room. You can just click open, right? If you've got, if you don't have the add-on, you just click open. But I have a custom image uploader that is going to upload images or whatever you select. So once I click here, I'm going to need to go in and probably just grab one of my uh, Bandicam video feeds here and just drop that in and now I've got a Bandicam and I'm going to upload this as a movie and so now this is actually going to play as a movie and then I can uh, change this if you want 
and get with that setting all this square button does is it loads the divide and the separate XYZ into this node group which you know comes automatic so if we zoom in here we'll be able to see a perfect picture of what is being uh, projected through the light and as I said earlier if you were to take the strength and take that off the color off the strength and omit the black body and just put the color to color on a mission you will then of course get a nice color image and this is going to try to put 1024 in there for the viewport let's just lower that and I'm on CPU that's the problem so make sure you're on GPU compute so it's not looking crazy and so now we've got a movie here if you will and we'll go ahead and throw in a little horizontal split here I'm gonna call this a timeline and we have frames so you can set up the frames uh, auto refresh is one of the things you gonna want to select and Let's see, I haven't done this in a while, so I think we're pretty good. Let's extend this bad boy up. I want to see what else I might have. Frames, blah, blah, blah. I think this is probably a couple thousand frames, whatever. But So I'm just going to put this to 250, just like it's matching here, so it doesn't really matter. And that should be enough. So now if I come over here and hit play on the timeline and I'll have to kind of enlarge this bad boy a little bit. Pause that. Give it a second to catch up. And you can actually project whatever you want through here. It'll look good. And then we've got a lighting set up here. I can change the, uh, the lighting, the color of the light that's being emitted. And I don't know if you can see it, but my mouse is moving in the background and the video is actually playing, which is pretty cool. And this thing's going awfully slow. So I want to pull up something else. Is this a video? Yeah, this is a hard surface model I was working on. I don't think I ever posted the video, uh, but no big deal. And this thing's chock full of, I mean, it's got Eevee Bloom, which is going away in 4.0. You can auto select any lights, cameras, mesh, or all objects in your scene and set them as the active object. So it's a really cool add on. Got a lot of stuff in there, but you don't have to have it to do this. So if I go ahead and hit play on this one, uh, we'll see stuff kind of moving around in the background. So yeah, that's cool. That's how you do it, guys. And one more time, I'm going to show the node group kind of explain what uh, was going on here. There's a lot of ways you can tweak this and make this look better. You just kind of have to play around with it and figure some of this out. Just a texture coordinate on normals. I'm dividing the uh, Z vector by the normal itself. So I just am projecting a square image. I'm mapping it to point, making sure auto refresh is on. I'm setting my frames. You can offset it. You can do a bunch of different things. Um, I think the mission here is probably a little too strong for that anyways. It doesn't matter. But just kind of play around with your settings and see what you like. And there's been one little problem the entire tutorial. I've kind of figured the light was there. I just didn't stop. I've got another light in here, so if I delete that, it's going to look a heck of a lot better. Uh, so if you stuck it out this long, just realize that you know, sometimes you start a scene, you've got a light kind of embedded somewhere. And the special features for squaring these up, excuse me, i got to grab the spotlight. And I've got a button in here for that. Let's see. If we go to lights, this will select lights and I can grab the spotlight. Okay, so that's another thing when you're deep in a scene and you don't want to like try to grab between all these extra lights, which obviously I just deleted the last one, but this still selects it as the active um, and then I'll be able to change this and make sure it actually grabbed it oh no wonder I um, added a volume let me delete the volume cube I must have clicked that a couple times by accident so it wasn't letting me grab my light there we go so now inside the add-on is where I have this uh, feature and I just did it again awesome See, that's a problem. A square next to a square. How fun is that? All right, so the feature to sw square this up is that node group. 
And I'm going to go ahead and let that run wild for a minute while I show you this. One last time. This is the node group, guys. Lock it in. It's very easy. Um, once you've got that down, you'll be able to project not only images through a spotlight, which is preferable to do it with the spotlight, but you'll be able to project movies as well. Now, one last thing. If you come up to your, uh, your lighting or you go down here, wherever, the radius of that light, which I've actually got over here, if you soften that, you can kind of make the edges here. Point, there's zero 05. Okay, it's not really going to work too good on that one. It's okay. The, if it's at zero, it's sharp. And if you want, you can change the actual spot size and kind of bring the picture to a sharper point if you want. But that's how you do it. Smash that subscribe, smash that like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.